What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I just wanted to give you a follow up after using iOS 12.1 beta 2 for a full day. So I wanted to talk about some of the new changes that I found after making the original video, talking about the performance, how it's been, as well as the battery life, and also a little bit about the presidential alert that we got earlier today. So of course, if you missed the first video where I talked about iOS 12.1 beta 2 when it first came out, go ahead and watch that video. It's up in the cards. It was uploaded yesterday. And of course, I always make those videos, you know, within the first hour of it being released. So I, you know, tend to miss some of the features and changes in the software just because I haven't had enough time to look through it. But I do like to make these follow up videos so I can make sure you guys know everything about the new software. And so the first thing I want to talk about is battery gate. Battery gate has officially been addressed and fixed in iOS 12.1 beta 2. So when the actual final version of iOS 12.1 rolls out to the public, that battery gate issue will be no more. Now I did mention that this issue has not affected me on my iPhone 10s Max. You know, I use it every day since it came out. I never had this issue until last night. So crazy coincidence, last night when I was getting ready to go to bed, I plugged my phone in and checked, you know, I tapped the screen and saw it was not charging, plugged it in again, still not charging. I had to actually wake my phone up, plug it in, then it started charging, then I put it to sleep and it charged the rest of the night. So of course my daily driver does not have the latest beta, only my iPhone XS and the iPhone 8 Plus do. But now after getting that issue on my iPhone XS Max, I may actually update to 12.1 beta 2. Now as far as the connectivity issues, I also do believe this has been fixed. I have not had any confirmation yet and since I do use my iPhone iPhone XS Max more than my iPhone XS or my iPhone 8 Plus, it's really hard to tell because I generally only drop Wi-Fi about two times a day on my iPhone XS Max. And I know for sure it's not my internet because the connection comes back within 30 seconds. So I'm going to continue testing this and I'll let you guys know my results when iOS 12.1 Beta 3 comes out. But if you've noticed that the connectivity issues, whether that be LTE or Wi-Fi, have been fixed or have not been fixed, let me know down in a comment below. Now another new feature in iOS 12.1 Beta 2 is that these toggles down here on the the lock screen now makes sounds. So if you click to turn on the flashlight, if you listen really closely, you'll hear a little click sound. I'm going to turn my volume all the way up so you can hear it. Probably pretty hard to hear, but it is making a slight clicking sound. And of course it does also make the noise for the camera right there as well. So both of those buttons down there on the lock screen now make noises. Now another change that I happen to miss on the iPhone XS and XS Max in iOS 12.1 is that you can actually change the focal length, the depth of field before you take the portrait photo. So there's a little F button up here in the top right. If you click on that, you can see you can actually change the F stop, the focal length right here. So now you no longer have to edit it after you take the picture. You can see it in real time and see you know what focal length you wanna have it at and then take the picture. So pretty cool feature there for the 10s and 10s Max. And you can see when you go away, it actually shows what the focal length is up there. Now we know about all the new emojis that were introduced with beta two. I went through a lot of them in my initial video, but what I didn't go through is some of the updated emojis. So a good amount of emojis actually have some very minor changes and adjustments done to them. And one of them is the iPhone. So the iPhone logo now shows up as an iPhone 10. So you can see it no longer has a home button like it did in every other version of iOS where this iPhone emoji was. So that's pretty cool. And it also looks like the Apple watch watch face looks like the new Apple Watch Series 4, so it's really cool that they, you know, pay such a close attention to detail and update the emojis like that. Now, as far as the performance go, it does seem a little bit snappier, a little bit quicker than Beta 1 on my iPhone 10s. However, on my iPhone 8 Plus over here on the left, it seems about the exact same as Beta 1. So there's really not a noticeable change on the iPhone 8 Plus, but there is a noticeable change on the iPhone 10s, and that makes a lot of sense because obviously Apple is going to focus more on optimizing for the newer devices like the iPhone 10, the 10s, and the 10s Max. So it definitely makes sense to see some performance improvements here on the 10s and not on an older device like the 8 Plus. Now, as far as battery life goes, it's still a little bit early to tell, but it does seem like I'm getting better battery life, more screen on time here with the iPhone 10s versus beta one. And also it seems like the difference in battery life from beta one to beta two is more significant of a change here on the 10s versus the iPhone 8 Plus which once again would make sense because Apple is probably optimizing everything for the iPhone XS and XS Max at this point. Now, as for the alert that you see right here, this is the presidential alert that everybody got today at 2.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it came through as like an amber alert. So you got that really loud noise, you got the vibration, everything going until you acknowledged it and unlocked your phone or just dismissed the notification. And you can see right there, it just says presidential alert. This is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. No action is needed. Now, a lot of people were thinking that you could actually actually disable this by going into your notification settings 
going all the way down and turning off Amber Alerts and Emergency Alerts, but that is not the case. This is different from an Emergency Alert and it's not something that you can actually disable. Technically, the only way to disable it is to turn on airplane mode or just to turn off your device as a whole, but I really don't see why you would do that because these notifications are gonna be important in the future and they're not really gonna be predictable like this one was. So all in all, it's really nothing at all to talk about. It did make you know major rounds on Twitter. A lot of memes have been made about it and everything, but I just wanted to let you guys know it's really nothing important, but I just wanted to talk about it just because it did happen today and it was pretty important and I know a lot of people are wondering why it was sent. But anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about some of the new changes that I missed in my original video and also give you an update on battery gate and the connectivity issues. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think about iOS 12.1 beta 2 down in the comment section below. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.